Well, hello, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Saskia de Jong, um, and today I'm going to talk to you about uh, how you can make sure that you get the request that you want to receive in Avanote. Um, me and my team, we're part of the customer success team. Uh, we not only make sure that you buy the products from us that you need, uh, but that we also make sure that you get the right value out of them. So. A lot of feedback that we have received over the last year, I would say, was about the amount of re uh, requests that you received through our system. Um, the increase of number of flyers was obviously one of those reasons why you have more requests coming from Avanote. Um, but there's also crew issues. Uh, we know that there is low supply, short cycle trips. Um, Supply, supply chain issues, and also your owner who is using the aircraft more and more. So plenty of reasons why there are a lot of requests floating through our system. And part of the things that I want to talk about a little bit about is the data. So if you look at this graph, you can see that the requests that we have in our system have actually doubled. Um, in the green line, we look at unique trips. So these are people sourcing for an, an aircraft, let's say from Canada um, to South Florida. And then they do a search, which is the red line. And then you see the number of uh, requests in the black line. So you can see how many requests are actually being received. And right around October last year, we start entering peak season all the way through January. So a ton of requests, which really resulted into a drop of accepted requests. So operators did not have the availability um, and therefore started to decline the request. A very low acceptance numbers. So we as a marketplace want to make sure that you as an operator actually get the request that you want to receive and making sure that your team spends time on those requests and um, not anything else that they don't want to have. So what are some of the features that we have? First of all, we want to make sure that everything we do in our system is something that you can do yourself. We have Academy articles available to you, but it should be easy for you to take control. Um, the other thing that we have is that anything um, any feature that we have in our system is something that's set up on a per aircraft level. So we know every aircraft is unique. We know every owner, any management contract that you have might be unique. So we have that ability to be specific per aircraft. Um, and like I said, all these rules can be independent of use of each other. Something that came out last week uh, we're very excited about is our short trip routing rule. Um, so there might be cases where you're not interested in a leg going from Burbank to Las Vegas. Um, that is a one way that you might want to not have. Uh, we, this rule allows you to set up an average um, and we will look at the average of the passenger legs. So let's say one, the first leg is an hour, uh, your second leg is a two hour, and your average is an hour minimum, that trip will then not show for you. Your aircraft is not going to show up. So again, making sure that you get the request that you're actually interested in. Another feature that was add, uh, added recently was the repositioning trips. So excessive repositioning, um, I'm sure you've all received requests for those trips that require a two and a half hour repositioning time. And you're like, why is the buyer requesting me for this trip? I don't want to do this crazy repositioning time. This rule will allow you to make sure that you're no longer receiving those requests. So you can do it for the first part, so first leg repositioning time, and then the second portion of it will allow you to look at the trip overall and an average percentage of the repo. So again, making sure that you're not getting these requests that you are not interested in. There are a couple of things that we've had for a long time, or at least that we feel like we're some um, rules that could be immediately applied. I often talk to operators and they say, you know what, I don't quote anything for the holidays at the moment. I only quote the first 30 days. Well, let's make sure that you're not receiving anything outside of those 30 days. So you have an option to put in a maximum day out. So if you're not quoting anything beyond next month, let's make sure you're not getting the Avanote request. Similar to that, if you are not interested in ASAP trips simply because you don't have the crew ability today, let's make sure we block that out as well. So if you have a max turnaround time, let's make sure that we have a minimum hours out rule in there. Um, we have a transient availability rule. Uh, 
you might get requests today when your aircraft is transient according to your schedule. Again, we know how uh, often that's difficult dealing with owners, dealing with crew. Maybe you prefer not to get requests when you are transient. Same thing here, we can block that out for you. Prior to the pandemic, we launched Takeoff Ready. Um, Takeoff Ready was designed to really promote your ASAP availability. So making sure that if your aircraft has a pilot, um, has no maintenance issue, toilet is flushing, uh, and really ready to go with owner approval, you would be able to market that as takeoff ready. During the pandemic and during this crazy spike in US demand, people have started to use it in a different way. It also allows you to block availability. So you could say, I do not have any pilots for the next 24, 48 hours. So you now can go in and actually block that availability manually in our takeoff ready schedule. So again, this is outside of the schedule that you do in your FMS system. You update the information in Avanote and make sure you do not get those requests. Um, one last thing I wanted to discuss is geographical um, uh, restrictions. So. Today you might get requests for Mexico and you never travel into Mexico. You cannot receive those requests. You can't do those trips. You have a way of blocking that. So again, per aircraft, you could decide to put in these restrictions. If, however, you need to um, remove them and you say, you know, there are exception areas such as Cancun, I would like to have Cancun as an exception area, you could go ahead and add that. Overall, as you can see, there's plenty of ability for you to take control and making sure that you get requests that you want to receive. Free up time for your sales team so they can go after those active leads that are actually business that you want to receive. Most importantly, you can do this yourself, but we are here to help and we would also love to get feedback on other things that you'd need us to implement um, to make sure that you can get the most value out of Avanote. Thank you for listening and have a wonderful day.